Oh my gosh. Your boy! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Hello everybody, it is Streamboy here, and today I'm going to be showing you the replay of my most recent ACC race with the GT Meister racing, team, racing group. So we are here at Nürburgring. I am starting P9 after a pretty good qualifying, and as the lights go green, we are off to the races. Now, I feel like as if I could a pretty good start. Kind of got bogged down with people in front of me, kind of getting boxed in right here with the McLaren 333 in front of me with that Bentley on my left. Then the 888 car in front of me also kind of boxed me in. So I have to go wide here as I'm trying to go around the outside of the Bentley stupidly. Don't know why I tried that. And the 918 Porsche gets on my left. I'm able to outbreak him. Almost get past. A little bit of contact up ahead with the BMW and an Audi. And they're all scuffling for position. And I'm just gonna stay back and hope to see if I can gain some positions and start for maybe contact or mistakes. I should have been more aggressive here. I could have been more aggressive, but I decided not to. And that really kind of cost me in the long run. So as I'm here pushing, coming into the hairpin at the bottom of Nürburgring, they all push each other wide, but I have to stay back because there's not any room for me to go. I know the next corner is Schumacher S. Not go past there, it's a bad idea. So coming through the Schumacher S now, pushing through as the Audi is very pushy, trying to get past this Mercedes again. Decides to go around the outside, and it works for him. Very surprised to see that happen. Mercedes gave him space, which is good. But now, I am right behind the Mercedes. Of course, I'm not going to have the straight line speed to try and pass him. But I'm going to have the chance to just stay on his tail and try my best to stay behind him. Maybe gain positions if these two fight just because he is looking very aggressive now after a very respectful move and the Audi is off almost spinning right into the Mercedes and I am just waiting to see what happens looks like the Merc is going to get a better exit out of the corner than the Audi and because of that he's going to try a move into Q1 the Audi moves across him slowly but surely I can't tell if there was contact there but the Audi shoots through or Mercedes shoots through my bad and I'm able to get past. And then after that, I just have to hold off the Mercedes for the rest of the race. It was an hour long race and we were only about five minutes in at this point. It was a slog fest, to say the less, least. But I'm now behind that Audi and I'm hoping to catch him, but I know he has crazy amounts of pace and it would be very hard to catch him. Kind of in a sandwich now. And I did hold station for a good few laps. I stayed there, stayed right with him, but eventually, later in the ra- er, okay, I'm gonna show a replay, my bad, of the start now. And you can really see I'm like right in the thick of it. I'm on the dirty side of the grid. Goes green. And I'm kind of, you can just immediately see that I get boxed in there. Nowhere really to go. Bentley on my outside. Nobody on my inside, luckily. Somebody did get tapped behind. And then I just try around the outside. And I, I, I don't know why I did that, to be honest. It almost cost me a position here with the 918 behind me. It was faster all through practice and stuff, but I had an unlucky race, sadly for him, he usually does. And it was just, everyone was going guns a blazing, so I calmed down after this. So now later in the race, coming downhill, coming towards the bottom of the track, taking that right-hander before the hairpin at the bottom, and that Audi had pulled away, he was gone. I had no chance of catching up to him. He had the pace, 
and was very respectful. So I send it in a little deep here through MacRS, and the Mercedes gets on my outside, coming up towards it. And I'm able to fend him off. He slots behind me, and then he tries to get up alongside of me. Doesn't fully get alongside of me until he's under braking, and then just shoots in. It's me. I catch it, but then I sadly get hit after... I'm not sure I pull around, put my wheel all the way around, pull back onto the track, two cars pass me too, and that puts me all the way down into P14. So here's an outside view. You had really no significant overlap in my opinion. I feel bad for the 918, got that I was the reason that he had a bad race. <laughs> Felt bad, he said everything's fine. Very nice group of people. I'm glad to be racing with them. Now that the season's over, hopefully for next season I can do better. So, as you can see now, I'm stuck behind this Porsche gang. Now these two had been fighting for a while at this point, and it was tight. Very tight. It was margins between them were tiny. So I'm just hoping to get maybe a lick of an opportunity. So it was a three-way battle now. I'm pushing towards the hairpin. I have the pace on them. I have a pace advantage. The damage was 10 seconds, but since it was only on my door, it really didn't do much straight line speed wise and cornering wise, so I was fine. I did not fix it on my pit stop. It was a mandatory pit. And so, coming towards where I just died. The Porsche next to me goes flying right off with a snap of Oversteer, the classic Porsche thing. I'm like, cool, one person down, next one, let's get him. And so as I'm pushing towards him, coming up to the chicane towards the end of the track, break a 50 marker, trip down to third, I hit a bump, slings me wide, and it's spin time. Trip down into first, catch it power across the gravel, and back down into P14 after finally getting P13 for a few seconds. Cars are now going to be a little dirty. But then a little bit later, coming up to what I consider chicane, because it looks like a chicane, it acts like a chicane, it slows cars down. And the 44 car who was right in front of me just slides off, I don't know if he touched the grass or anything, he, he, he doesn't even know what happened, he just said it just went. But then, just a little bit later, I'm finally catching all the way back up to the Porsche ahead of me. I think it's 967 or 963. 937 car. And I'm caught up to him, and he dives into the pit lane. I almost crashed right into the back of him because of the way that he did it. So I pass him, and I'm like, okay, cool. Now I know I need a good in lap. And a good lap around here is like, I'm really worn tires, I was like, maybe I'm 156. I get the alarm for low fuel, I'm like, okay, it's go time. And so, break 50 board, got to down in a second, I'll just get to, take you through this lap. And I'm really just trying to push, but I'm not trying to over push, because if I over push, I'll lose time, and I'll lose grip, and I'll crash. So just using as much of the road as I can, not hitting too many curves because Porsche time. Yeah, hates curves. Really does. So coming up to this corner, shift down into third, fly through, down into second here. This is a very strange apex, but sometimes I like to like almost V it, or like I would say U it almost. It's weird. Coming down into the low hairpin. This corner you V a lot but with the grip that I had, it was really struggling to try and do that. Into the Schumacher S's. Really, you want it stable, so I do a little lift, and also I wouldn't make it without a lift. Or would understeer. Use all the curbing. Use as much road on the inside, break at the 100 marker, shift down into second. Sling it through there. Down into second again, just to get the rotation through the corner, push out. I was catching a duo that was ahead, and 
as I'm flying into the final chicane, it's really quick left right hander. Break 50 down into third, right, or left right, and then I dive into the pit lane. Now I did not practice pit entry, so I did not know where the pit board was, but I had a general idea. So I just blasted into it, and almost get a penalty. Saved it from a penalty though. Slowly trundling down the pit lane, luckily there is no pit collisions, but car almost does still hit me. Coming out of the pit lane, he hesitates. So I just sling through. And then I get the most annoying glitch in ACC. Car takes way too long to shut off. Finally hit the kill button. Get put up, dropped down. Put up again. I hate this glitch. It's so annoying. But after my pit, lane, pit stop, you can see me coming out of the pit lane on the left side. And the guy that pitted before me, there he is, and there I am. It was the tiniest of margins. I think it was like a few tenths, maybe, between us. You can see me blast out of the pit lane, and there he goes. I thought I had him. I think if I hadn't had the glitch of going up and down, I would have had to fight him, and I might have been able to push harder earlier and catch up to the car in front, who was struggling with early peace. So, now I'm like, okay, gotta catch this guy again. Did it once, I can do it again. Let's go. Round two, baby. And so, with the fresh tires, I'm like, oh, this is nice. I kind of forgot what fresh tires feel like. That happens sometimes. <laughs> Get into a groove after a while, you just forget what fresh tires feel like. And so, this is now the fight for P10 after all the pit stops. And so here is where I put on a move of my life. After attempting once to get past someone, not really succeeding, I'm like, okay, cool. I got another opportunity here. He got a really bad exit, slid on the exit. I got a really good one. And I'm able to pass around the outside, which is such a weird way to pass here. Usually you just have to stick it down the inside and just shove it on that apex. But then I make a mistake. I go narrow here, because he's on the inside. But I don't apex block, which is what I should have done. Instead of apex blocking, he goes straight through, I'm like, okay. And then I get really good drive off this corner. And I'm like, okay, I thought I was gonna have to wait again, but nope. And I just get alongside of him, get that wheel to wheel, and just fly past him down into third. And it was, oh, that move felt so good. Truly one of the best moves I think I've ever put on in sim racing. So here we go, let's go for an outside view. Coming down, I'm right on his bumper, trying to use as much slipstream as possible. Pull out at the last second and just break at that curbing on the lower right. And on the left, my bad. And I'm able to just put it around the outside. But then you can just see the fact that I make the mistake of not covering my inside. And he is able to sneak right by, taking back that P10 position. And then I'm able to get a monster exit off of this corner because he had to go narrow and I'm able to just come to his inside and in the breaking zone he breaks a millisecond earlier than I and I just take that to my advantage and drove off leaving him behind by I believe 11 seconds sadly he got hit later and that is really it this is the final lap I had really nothing else happen maybe a few passes on back markers but after that pass, it was really kind of a chill race, which was nice. You can see how much I was sliding it through that corner. This car is a monster around this track. I love driving the Porsche around Nürburgring. It is one of the best track combos with this car. And so yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. And I was able to, at the end, after everything, I went, started P9, got up to P6, dropped down to P14, just before the pits, I got to P8, and then finally here, after the fight, after going back down to 11, after coming out of the pit lane, got a fight, and crossed the line with I, what I think is a very respectable P10 after everything that happened. And then I'd be stupid, turn off the TC and try and do a reverse entry into T1. It does not work, sparks flying, people were doing donuts, it was the end of the season, and I accidentally hit a so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, 
and I shall see y'all next time. Goodbye!